Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So today guys I'd like to try something really quick okay a quick three cards to check the energy what do you say um, this reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you just take what does resonate and toss the rest right don't try to force it and thank you so much collective for your likes subscribes comments shares donations the love you guys put a smile on my face every day I love your comments um, you're always so good to me here thank you so much for all of your support I truly mean that I really do all right so a quick three cards right let's take them off of the deck off the bottom of the deck sorry all right okay the energy that I'm getting here um, there's a masculine who, you know what, they stand in between a decision still, okay? I feel like they still stand in between um, feeling regret and hiding how they feel for you, this two of cups situation, and staring at a situation that really just isn't working, okay? Um, I'm feeling like this person... Uh, they still haven't made an actual cut here from what I'm from what I'm getting okay um, even though they know that you know and I'm also picking up that this person's had several different relationships in the past that haven't worked out um, in a lot of ways this person really doesn't make it doesn't want to make a decision because um, they may feel like their decision making isn't that great or they could be losing faith in love all right um, and it's almost like they're they're just not it's it's almost like they act immature they're very impulsive they just want to play they just want to have fun okay um, and I feel like they met you and they stabbed you in the back that way you know uh, this person could have came in with a lot of promises you know um that kind of thing and just changed the energy all it just kind of added a lot of chaos to the energy here in the past and i feel like you felt very betrayed by this person you know they made it sound and feel like love and i feel like that's how you felt about it and i feel like this person backstabbed you then left you they just turned their back on you okay they didn't give you any clarity they didn't really explain everything you know they just left with a sword in your back and you had to pull that sword out yourself and heal on your own um and i feel like now the it, we're all in this energy where you're not going to accept anything but the truth from whoever comes towards you you've got your back turned turned toward any kind of immature behavior that's going to cause a storm in your life i feel like this person has kicked up a storm before you know they may even um they may even be trying to communicate with you like this could be an invitation out um this could be somebody younger coming in with some kind of uh information here about your person it may trigger you okay but what I'm getting the feeling of is is that you know um, you'll get your clarity if that's the case you're already very clear on whoever this is this person's immaturity the inability to make a decision when it comes to love I feel like there was a part of them that really didn't trust love and so they wanted to just play they weren't serious but you in queen of swords enter you were in a queen throne here okay a queen and a queen is serious about things you know I feel like you used your intuition too with this person um, maybe something kind of like just didn't feel right but you trusted them anyway but I feel like they were hiding things from you okay especially the fact that they really didn't want anything serious at the time I feel like they just didn't trust their decision-making skills 
when it came to love. Because everything else that they had put their effort into in the past, it all got knocked over. And it all turned out to be not real love. In a way, I kind of think you blew this person's mind because now they're in a lot of regret for this, hanging their head low, suffering that loss, really feeling that loss, and remembering, you know, how they were immature with you. And I feel like, you know, if they're sending somebody in to talk to you, that's not going to work. You've got your back turned. You're waiting for the truth from the one who stabbed you in the back. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. You're not going to accept, for some of you, somebody has come around. Maybe a mutual friend or a child. You know, this is somebody pretty young here and immature, right? They come in with, with a story to tell, some information. And I feel like you've got your back turned. You're not listening to that. If anybody wants to give you some kind of information, it better be an apology from the person who stabbed you in the back. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. It had better be an apology. So I feel like a storm is getting kicked up here. You could be dealing with a Virgo, but I'm the only one out here probably who sees this as a Virgo card because it's the hermit without the hoodie. And all up in their feels, all up in their emotions, okay? It's a very dark, gloomy card, okay? Or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. This could be somebody, too, who um, could be very, like a risk taker, right? Somebody who um, isn't really serious. They, you know, um, someone who's impulsive would make an impulsive move. And I think that's what they did before and stabbed you in the back. I feel like you've been waiting to hear a message from this person, something, some kind of clarity, some kind of truth, but that never came, and you're still waiting for it, and you're not going to accept any information from anyone besides the one who betrayed you. Yeah, if they're going to, if they want to talk to you, they're going to have to not send somebody else. They're going to have to talk to you themselves. So that's for someone, you know, not all of you are going through that, but I have to, I have to put it out there. I'm seeing this as kind of so, in somebody who could be a, a different person coming in to give you some kind of information or talk to you about it. And you're, you've got your back turned, you know? Yeah, that's the feeling that I'm getting. It's really hard for me to do a three card reading, okay, because I want to keep flipping more cards. I'm going to pull three cards on how this person is feeling. How's that? We'll just get a different deck, right? Just another quick three cards, guys. I don't, I never like to leave the table feeling incomplete, you know what I mean? All right, Divine, just thank you. There's two already. One more for the collective. One more card. Okay. Creative. Yeah. These are in reverse. Um unsure, envious. I really feel like um, you're just done with this person. I kind of get the feeling that you're getting clarity on them, that they, they're they still lingering in between something here or having an issue with past experiences, you know, keeping their back turned, doing overthinking this for far too long. Um, I feel like you're kind of disconnecting here. If, if this person is feeling possessive or jealous or envious of you, I feel like you just don't care anymore. You know, I don't feel like you feel this the same as you did before. Okay, this is kind of giving me that I'm just going to move on with my life. Um, I know that they're going to take forever to choose a path. I'm just kind of done. I feel like this person, all they did was sit in a decision to make and just watched you from afar. 
stalked you and I feel like you're just done with that now you're putting that to rest okay you're cutting it out with that sword and I feel like this person over here this masculine energy they're just feeling very overwhelmed um, you know hermit energy that's how I see this right same person without the hoodie the hermit energy has um, a ton of scenarios rolling through their head all at once okay that's why they're overthinkers but they're extremely intelligent they'll take each one of those scenarios and pick them apart strategically okay to find the weaknesses in each story until they come up with the one scenario that works the best and you know how long that takes right <laughs> So I feel like this person in all of this jumbled mess in their head, they're trying to find a creative way to express themselves and tell you just how they feel. Up until now, they've been hiding how they feel, okay? Maybe even ashamed that, uh, I feel like it's, an, it's, it's inner turmoil about themselves. Like they're feeling ashamed that they can't even make a decision. Or they may feel ashamed that, you know, love never works out for them. That kind of thing. They keep choosing the wrong person. That kind of thing. But they turn their back on the real deal here. Okay? And I feel like they realize that. That's why they're trying to find a creative way to come towards you. But it's taken this person far too long. Far too long. And now they may be involving somebody else to get information from you, maybe or talk to you about the situation for them and you know what you and queen of swords energy you need somebody to um, buck up and give you the truth themselves okay um yeah otherwise you know what i feel like you're just cutting this out all right slicing it out with your sword uh, you know they've been just watching you, stalking you from afar, constantly stalking you. You know, worried if you're going to get with somebody else. You know that it's taken them far too long to decide a path. And you know what? That in itself is a betrayal. Because that's like, an, that's insulting. If somebody doesn't even know if they want to be with you or not. You know what? Every person deserves somebody who's going to choose them them and be able to defend it right not hide it not wrestle with how they're going to come in and talk to you you need somebody who's going to be straight with you okay that's that's what i'm feeling like here anyway let's get um what they may want to say to you <laughs> did i say just three cards gosh darn it i can never do just three cards guys it's so hard for me <laughs> but i always want to give you guys a really good reading you know what i mean all right so it's got to be thorough right i'm still trying to find a place for myself in the world yeah this person is i mean their head is a jumbled mess this could even be their life just them trying to keep everything together um I feel like that's what's going on in their mind, though. Yeah, they're still trying to find a place for, for themselves in this world. I'm telling you, it's taken them too long just to figure out what they want. Time passes, but my feelings don't change, even though you no longer trust me with your heart. Okay, that's this. This person betrayed you, and you haven't gotten any answers from them. But time passes, yeah. A lot of time passes. Too much time has passed, right? I'm coming to you with an offer. Will you say yes? When I offer you my hand, will you take it? I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. What did I say? I have to be in contact with you again. I miss you too much. I know, you guys, that was too many cards, though. 
I always look for you at airports as if we'll be at the same place in the world. This person could actually, um, like this could be a long distance connection. Doesn't have to be though. They're just looking for you everywhere, right? Um, yeah, everywhere I go, I look around. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I look around as if you'll magically be there. That's, yeah, that's what I was saying, right? <laughs> anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. I'm sorry, I can't keep it to three cards. I just, I feel like it always has to be more thorough, okay? <laughs> My bad, sorry. It was worth a try, right? Anyway, um, I do hope this helps. If you like this video, please click the like button, right? Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow if you haven't already. Um, if you like this vibe and it resonates with you, join the Soul Tribe because we rock. Yes. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.